Hello, it's Jamie from The Flying Pig, and today I'm going to talk to you about unit conversions, big to small. Now, this is a mnemonic that I created to help my students because they were having a really hard time trying to identify if they should multiply or if they should divide when they're converting units. So this is really handy for that, especially when you're dealing with word problems, because word problems just make kids' brains melt. So very handy for that. Uh, not for melting brains, but for preventing the melting of the brains. So when we do big to small, we're going to identify which of the two units are larger. So for instance, if I'm dealing with feet and I'm converting into inches, we're going to use big to small. We times them all because we're multiplying. So to do that mnemonic, you're going to stretch your arms out really, really big. It's like holding a big box and that's big and then bring it in to small times them all. So it's really simple. So it's big to small times them all. So in that case, you would multiply. Uh, if we're going to be using smaller units and moving those to larger units, we're going to be dividing. So if I was going from inches to feet, then I would have to divide. So we would just reverse those motions. So S represents small, S to B, divide with B. So this is kind of like, I dream a genie, like no, kind of motion. So one more time, that's big to small times them all, S to B, divide with me.